Hi guys, welcome back to the Home and Homestead. Today we'll be doing part two of three video series on planting in containers. So here I have a five tier vertical planter. I've separated out the tiers. They all sit on a bottom tray here. And they kind of stagger when you place all five of them. And the theory is that when you water the top tier, the water goes through some holes that are on the bottom and waters all of the tiers below. So what I'm going to do today is I'll plant some coriander on one level, parsley on another, and thyme on a third. And that leaves two more tiers, so I'll, I'll place some annual flowers in there. These are black currant punch super bells. And this is a lilac blue superbina, a verbena. And I also have some zinnia seeds. And I thought I'd kind of stagger them in with the tiers of the annual flowers. So I already prepped the tiers with some soil in them. So let's get these planted. I'll do the three tiers with the herbs in first, I think. So I picked these plants up from the garden center. They're nice and moist. I'm gonna see if I can kinda gently tease out three little plants here. This is the coriander. They like to get tangled on one another, but if you're patient, you can get them separated. There we go. And I'll put one cluster in each of the three little planting areas in here. Add a little more soil on top. Because once we water, it'll go down a fair bit. Once they've been in the container for a little while, they'll perk back up. This, so this five-tier vertical planter will have a variety of edible and pretty flowers. All right, so the coriander is all planted. Let's move on to the parsley. We'll do the same here. Gently tease away a little cluster. There we go. Now we have three little plants. Just make a little hole with your fingers. Place them in there. We'll add a little more soil again. If you don't have a lot of space, this vertical planter might be a good option for you, or if you just want a little interesting planter you can bring in the house or separate the different layers, this might be a good option for you. I also purchased a little rolling platform so that I can move it around as needed on the deck or patio. 
There we go. Parsley's planted. And now the thyme. I love growing fresh herbs. We have an actual herb garden as well, but I always like to have little containers of herbs too on the, on the deck. They look nice and you can snip off just a little bit if you're cooking and you need some fresh herb. In the herb garden we do more of things that I can dehydrate or, or freeze. I'll do a segment on us planting our herb garden too later. But for now, we're at the stage of planting in containers. So this is very similar to the green stock vertical planter, but, but it's a bit more economical. I will link in the description box below the version that I purchased, and I actually bought it as a bundle. So it had the stone colored planter that I'm doing right now, which is a real nice looking tannish gray color. And then it also came with the terracotta. And we gave the terracotta vertical planter uh, as a Mother's Day gift. So let me set these herbs aside. And then I'll get these flowers planted in here. All right, let's see. I might be able to make this into two. put these towards the edge because they have a nice kind of draping effect to this particular flower and I want them to kind of cascade down the, the side of the planter. See where this one wants to divide, if at all. Usually you can. This one is not going to cooperate with me. That's okay. This level will just have more of the zinnia seeds. So I get this one in. This one might be nice for the top. So for the zinnia seeds, you, you sow them in the ground and then when you put them in, they're usually two to four inches in height with this final spacing of four to five inches apart. So I just figured I'd stick a bunch in here, four to five inches apart and see what grows. I got these from the dollar store. They are four for a dollar. There's probably not as many seeds in here than your typical. That was a fair number. I'll just take a, a few and stick them in. Maybe three, four clusters per section here. There we go. Okay, we'll save the rest of those. So now I'll just assemble this five-tier planter. I might play around with the order of these here, but each layer kind of attaches to the one below and there we go. So we have the five tiers. We have the coriander layer, annual flower layer, curly parsley, thyme layer. This is another annual flower and seed layer. 
So here's the vertical five-tier planter. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video today. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new around here, please click the subscribe button. Well, I hope you're having a wonderful day and you can get out and get some plants and containers yourself. See you next time. Take care.